Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, it's Sunday and I'm here today with another quick and easy for you. This is a very quick and very easy little junk journal notebook and I think it's turned out really cute. I like it. Uh, I've decorated it with pages from the... I've got I had to get a book to remember. It's this one, the Concise British Flora in Colour. It is expensive at the minute, but it really is one to keep an eye out for when the price drops. So, let's have a look at it. It's, the closure is string. I've just popped a little butterfly and a charm on. I was going to put a leaf on, then I thought, nah, butterfly. You could put a butterfly on anything, can't you? I seem to want to put one on everything. So, the closure is also the binding. And it really is easy. I've not even decorated inside. Yeah, it's left blank. I don't know what I want to do with it. And in the back, we have a pocket for a tag. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, notebook with tag. Super quick, super easy. And I've made it from two greeting card blanks. Uh, I've mentioned before, I quite often buy greeting card blanks and envelopes for my crafts rather than buying card. It just seems to work out cheaper than buying sheets of card. So I've got these. These are five inch by seven. And I'm going to start by folding one in half and cutting the other one up. So I think you can guess already that's your cover. How easy could that be? Now this one, I'm going to cut it just... I don't want it quite as wide, do I? Because I'm going to stick it on the inside and I want it to fit perfectly. So I'm going to cut it just before the crease, yeah? And I'm going to bring my greeting card back. Check that that's going to fit nicely and allow it to close. Can you see what I mean? It stops just short at crease. Yeah, that's going to be fine. In fact, you know what? Just to be safe, I'm going to cut a smidgen more off. I think, and when I say a smidgen, that's how much more I just cut off. Oh, I love these Tim Holtz trimmers for letting you do stuff like that. Then the top, I'm going to grab my circle punch. This bit is optional, don't have to do it. Check I've got right piece, yeah. And I'm just going to cut a semicircle at the top. I'm using my one and a half inch punch. Then I'm going to grab my ink and I'm going to go to town ink in this. I'm loving the craft and the lots of ink look at minute, I really am. If you didn't see the tags I made the other day, uh, I made those in craft card with the same book pages. So, yeah, these are going to end up going together in the same project. So I've not done too much other decorating inside because I'm really not sure what else I'm going to do. But I'm heading towards some kind of flippy flappy file folder thingy. I just don't know what yet. So let's... Lots of ink in. I'm not going to do both inside pieces because one's going to get covered up, isn't it? That would be a waste of time. And I forgot to round my corners. You don't have to round your corners, actually. That really is an optional one, but I think I'm going to. I'm using my 7mm seven, seven one. That's the one that's about the same size as the... Yeah. We are memory keepers. Smaller one. The 10 millimetres about the big one. The 4 millimetres smaller than both. So I'm just going to round that bottom corner. Just make sure the inking looks good. Now I've done the corners. And I'm going to glue it with my art glitter. Because I want it to do quick for this project. The other one I actually did just with PVA, but we know it doesn't dry as quick, and I promise you this is a quick project, so I need to, yeah, stick to that, don't I? So this is just basically making your pocket. I was uh, toying with the idea of making some kind of journal. Yeah, like a concertina one, you could just go forever adding cards together, couldn't you? But that would have took longer, and I've had a bit of a chilled weekend. 
I'm quite enjoying doing these short projects at weekends because you know I like to film daily. I wouldn't remember what I was doing otherwise. When you comment today, I wouldn't have a clue what you're on about. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it works for some people filming ahead. It doesn't really work for me. I've tried it and I get confused. But it doesn't take much to confuse me. Right, so that's basically your notebook bones. It's done. Yeah? Now, I've, I've gone ahead and I've been very cheeky and I've cut my pieces of paper already for that. So I'll grab them and show them you. So I've just basically cut. I'm going to use that one. I like it. It's a quarter of an inch smaller than the card. So if the card's five by seven, I'm going to cut it back to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And that's what I've done with this. So I'm going to go ahead and round these corners. Move you out it way again, mate. And then do some inking. I just found it easier to cut two while I was cutting one. Now this punch annoys the life out of me sometimes. It's not cut that corner properly. So it's really annoyed, really annoyed me. So where's my skizzers? I'm just going to finish that clunky bit that it left. And then I'll try and do it again. That's better. I love it. I won't be without it because of the sizes it does. But, yeah, you've really got to concentrate when you're using it. And <laughs> I'm not concentrating when I'm waffling and rabbiting and talking tense it doesn't am I? right so that's that done i'm using my super quick super easy crafters companion dry adhesive foot middle i would have used my atg but my rule ran out and i don't know where i've put my spare ones because i'm a nightmare and i'm using my kalal for around the edge i like kalal it doesn't wrinkly paper it's a darn sight cheaper than three in one. It can tend to stiffen up your project a little bit, but when it's something like this, that's not a problem. So I wouldn't use it everywhere on something I wanted to stay quite flexible. And let's get it on. There we go. I'm liking that. So that's the front of my notebook done and dusted. Another reason to love Kalal is it rubs off if you get it where you don't want it. And if you don't do it straight away, it will still rub off with one of those glue erasers. So that's my front. That's my pocket. Now, while that dries, I'm going to make the tag for the inside. So I've got my trimmer again. I've made the tag a bit smaller so it will fit in. And I made the tag four inches wide. By oh how tall did I make the tag? I've totally forgot. What about six and a half? Let's measure it. Six and a half, yeah. I'm gonna use that as a guide because I've only got my little baby trimmer out to tell me where six and a half is. That's about six and a half. I know six and a half's about to end there. So yeah, six and a half. And then the paper for the tag. <laughs> I went ahead and cut that as well. Is that only one? And I've cut this one down to... I'm going to get a ruler so I don't get this wrong. I don't want to confuse you. This is three and three quarters. Again, quarter of an inch narrower. So it should be six and a quarter long. And it is. So, chuck the chopper. I use this upside down, you know, so I can see when it's in properly. I forgot that I did that. Yeah, I forget a lot of things. Someone commented on the video yesterday, it was lovely that I burnished the stitching. And I did, I did say in the answer, yeah, I do it when I remember. Sometimes I completely forget. I'm the kind of person that goes somewhere in car and then walks home because I forgot I went in car. I don't drive at minute. I got honestly I felt in myself I was too dippy to drive. 
having spent years teaching people to drive I knew I went up to it so I packed it in never go anywhere in car anyway right so that's that I'm going to round these corners yet again I told you this was super quick and easy didn't I I'm liking things at minute that have minimum effort, maximum bang for your buck. Yeah, that's a bit of an American expression for you US ladies. But I've always been one of them kind of people, you know, when I go shopping in what we call cheap shops, Poundland, <laughs> Bar home bargains, etc. I like to find the stuff that is cheap but looks more expensive. And it's a bit like that when we're crafting at the minute. Kids are off school. I still want to video and upload daily. I enjoy it. It's my social life at the minute. With all this, yeah, virus stuff. So, yeah. I want to get some bang for my buck. I'm still doing odd few longer videos when kids can stop arguing for five minutes. Woo! <laughs> Taking that with me. They don't seem as easy as they were during the lockdowns we had. More high maintenance. I think it's just their age. The 14 going on 15. Twin girls. Ah. So we've got twin teenagers and a menopausal woman living in one house. Oh, hormone soap. There we go. It didn't come as a shock though, it was one of the first things I thought of when I realised I was having twin girls at the age of 37. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's going to be some rough time in that, isn't it? Alright, so that's that done. Again, I've used my Crafters Companion dry adhesive in the middle and my Kalal on the outside. You will notice my new tips. I'm liking them, but I will lose them. They're actually tips for iPad pencils. Yeah, they fit lovely on my Sugar Bell bottles too, but I'm going to lose them. I bought a pack of ten. I'm using three. Uh, I will be taking bets on what day I will have lost all ten by. So, yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be, it'll be before winter. Might be before end of school holidays. Right, I'm now going to stick a tab on the top of this. I'm using my homemade... Stamping up type ones, the ones I designed on my Cricut. I do always say if you want it, I will email you the link to use it if you've got Cricut. I do just ask that you don't go mass producing them and selling them on Etsy or summer or don't sell the file. Like any other digital you would buy, basically. But I'm quite happy for you to make them to use in your own projects and things you're selling. That's not a problem at all. Right. There we go. I need to get round to redoing them in uh, a different program at minute. They're just in a cricket format. If I redo them on me, yeah. I don't use photo affinity. I use so if affinity. If I do it on that, I could uh, save it in different formats so you could use them if you've got scan and cuts or. Silhouettes. I promise I'll get round to doing it. Right, so that's that on there. So that fits in there perfectly. It should do if I cut it right. There we go. And then for the pages, I've just took five bits of tea dyed paper. These were A4 that I cut down. Yeah. I fold them in half first. And then I just cut round them on my rotary trimmer. And I've cut these to the same same size as the mat was on the front. A quarter of an inch smaller than the size of the card. So it is... What is it? Oh, I forgot to round a corner there, look. Silly woman. I bet you all spotted that and I didn't. Not a problem. Do it now. That's better. <laughs> yeah, so it's six and three quarters by four and three quarters. I'm just going to use a simple three-hole pamphlet stitch. So I'm going to line, put lid on your ink now, missus. You don't need it, and you'll just ruin your project. So just get it in the middle, line it up. Yeah, and I'm going to use a couple of these little clips because they're handy. It's not a weighty journal, is it? We don't need to get the big guns out. 
so I'll get the spines lined up and I'm just going to clip there and same again there clip there I have got my braddle pokey tool whatever you use to make holes I'm not even going to bother with a book or a punching cradle and I'm eyeballing about the middle closing it up and I'm just poking that through and then I'm going down roughly a couple of inches poking again whoops it slipped there nearly poked me and the same again there perfection not required I'm getting really good at not requiring perfection from my journals or myself and I'm loving it right I've bound it with this twine this is my medium twine is it it's not I think it's double ply twine this if I were to measure it I'd say it's about about it's about uh, yeah about 16 through an inch right and to decide how much to use this is how I did it I did me two and a half times what this set is enough to bind a journal and then because I wanted it wrapped round a couple of times I wanted four widths of the book two three four then a bit extra for my tails and then I cut it and then I hoped for best. I've got a bodkin for binding because I I do have a binding needle, but it's far too big than the hole the needle and it makes the holes huge and I don't like it. Right, so no I'm not going in from the inside because I want to tie it on the outside. Phew, she nearly mucked it up. So I'm going in from the outside. Yeah. Now here is where sometimes I can't pull it through when I'm using a thick twine so I use these, the me acrylic tip pliers. Ordinary pliers and a tea towel would work just as well or someone with a bit more strength if you have a man about the house. I don't, thankfully. <laughs> so let's go through and I'm gonna go through, oh it started knotting. I want to leave myself enough so that it can wrap round twice so I'm gonna try it once two and a bit extra Ooh, yeah. so as long as I've got enough there I want my other one to be longer because that's got to do binding first hasn't it so let's wrap it round right way one two and back and a length a smidgen more I want to pull back and then I'll be happy there you go I'm happy with that much so I'll crack on with binding now so it's come up in the middle, so go down on either side, don't matter which. Then pull out. Ooh, still come to that. There we go. It's wanting to tangle this twine, so I'm keeping an eye on it. A beady eye. There we go. Then we're back on outside at book. Just pull that bit out of the way, woman. Then I'm going back in the empty hole, as I like to call it. And pull it again. Nah, it's not going to pull. Use these acrylic tip pliers. Everything I use is linked on my Amazon storefront if you're interested in any of it. I did actually get these from Amazon. To be quite honest, I don't leave house much anymore and I buy everything off Amazon. Amazon has saved my life during the pandemic. Really has. So, and then we go back in the middle. Try not to go through your twine. If you do, it doesn't. World's not going to end. There's things you can do, faffy things you can do to fix it, which I've done on many videos because I often go through it. And make sure it's pulled tight. You've got no baggy bits. There's no baggy bits. I can take my clips off now. And baggy bit free. Pull it tight but not overly tight and then I just put one, it's a bog standard thrill pamphlet stitch, you probably know how to do this, well you will. I tie it once, I'll take my needle off before it ends up in my foot because that is another common occurrence with me and then I'm going to wind, bring these together, wind them round together once, twice, oh I have to go front way first, once, twice and back. And then look, oh, I've just, that's just long enough that. Whoa. 
and that goes under there all right so i'll unwind it to put my tag in that should be nicely dried now this should be all dried so I'll pop my tag in i mean you could go to town print pockets and all sorts in here you could put more pages in anything you want i think i'm gonna grab a leaf for this one i've got some leaf charms that i got on one of my bb craft little things so this one is more of its yeah i don't want that one though which one do i want oh i want that open leaf i like that so yeah 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 i've got some little bulb pins these are antique bronze if you're putting your charm on i like to pop it on the first bit at the front before i wrap it round then you'll still be able to unwrap the thing and you won't have it all caught up so one two and then tuck that under and there we have it another book so there i have i've got two. Oh, put your tag back in that one missus so yeah i promise you that we're going to be super quick and super simple and it is i've lost my butterfly off that one like but let's just get another one here eh? <laughs> where on earth that went can't remember which butterfly i used let's use this one i'm right good at losing stuff me really good so it needs to go round that one <laughs> i mean if you want to tie a knot round it tie a knot round it so there we have it two cute and gorgeous little notebooks from two greeting card blanks that could not be more easy yeah so i hope you enjoyed that you will see these pop up again soon in some flippy flappy kind of project and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye